All right, hi everyone. Of course, this is doing old age makeup on your cosmetology head. Obviously, your cosmetology head um, has beautiful, flawless skin. Um, so, really, the purpose is just being able to transfer over the information that you have on your makeup map, right, and your rendering, and pretty much doing the same thing, right? You are painting the canvas of the face. So, for wrinkles, um, you can see that we have the forehead, um, we did the sunken eye area, right? You're going to have to get a little more sunken as you get older. Um, I tried to keep the nose a little wider. Um, same with doing the wrinkle down here on the nostril. Um, and of course we have our smile and laugh lines. Um, we have crow's feet and then sort of a sunken in cheek, you know, a little crypt keeper and um, nice jowls. Um, there's also a little shadowing under the lip um, and I mocked um, thinner lips just because as you get older the collagen tends to shrink in your lips so make sure you wear SPF. Um, so before you start you want to spray with hairspray right? Do not do this without spraying your cosmetology head with hairspray first um, and I'll just show you some of the strokes that I did, just little helpful tips hopefully. Um, sometimes on the forehead, it's a pretty harsh line to just stick on the forehead itself. Um, so what I think tends to help is that it's not the smoothest line, right? Your wrinkles are not going to be amazingly smooth and beautiful, right? Once you kind of establish your line, of course, same thing that you've been practicing a little bit of that feathering and just mocking shadow and then of course we'll have highlight. So I'm just going to try to soften these a little bit more. Alright, you always dab it out. Um, especially with age makeup, I find that your lines are going to little be a little harsh um, just because you really want to show that and then so I try to make the line itself a little bit thicker in the middle right and then it tapers out right on the edge a little bit more to blend these better Not too much it shouldn't be um, a rectangle that you're sticking on the forehead, right? It should not be a rectangular line. It should be a little thicker somewhere in the center and then the other out. And also remember when you're doing it, right, you're feathering down. So a little darker towards the line and then a little bit lighter. Um, so we kind of got that. We can do you know. keep it wide. We're going to feather down a little bit thicker at the top, right? I want my lines to run fully into each other, so make that one a little bit shorter. Wrinkles are not always even on each side of your face. Alright, you can do that same feathering motion for the sunken eye. I'm gonna get some color on the eyelid too. Obviously, blending on the cosmetology head is a lot different than actual skin.
want to make sure we get the sag on the eyes. Nice, nice bags. and soften that. You can also use your brush to blend it out a little bit. What I kind of been doing too is just wiping it off. Just getting all that extra off of there and then kind of using the brush to also blend a little bit. And then you do a little bit on the crow's feet. I'm all going to be the same length. I'm going to do a little shadowing in there. just so you can see we wound up taking our highlight right and it sits on top of those lines very similar to the corrective just kind of mirroring those lines right helping to emphasize that shadow and those wrinkles you just created. Right, definitely emphasizing this area right on top. And then just coming in, you can kind of soften it. Again, it's not going to be as soft of lines as your corrective. Um, you want these to be a little harsher. Cool, so hopefully that helps you just a little bit.